In this video, I am going to show how to draw a very simple diagrammatic representation of the internal structure of the human heart. So this diagrammatic representation is made for easy understanding of the internal structures and once we finish the drawing, I will be explaining the parts. So first we begin with drawing the upper chambers and the lower chambers. Now upper chambers here are thin walled, so we trace the line inside to form thin wall structure, make a projection that's supposed to be the valve and then trace it up to make the bifurcation of right and left side of the heart. Now the other side here which we are drawing right now is the left side which has slightly thicker walls as compared to the other side. Then we now draw the blood vessels so there are receiving the blood vessels that bring blood to the heart and the blood vessel the ones which carry blood out of the heart so here we draw the ones which bring blood and then extend this line down to form the valve that makes the blood vessels which are carrying blood out of the heart these blood vessels also have valves present in them so we draw the valves here once we draw that, then we extend the blood vessel on the left side to form a curve down and the blood vessel on the right side, we make branches. So once this is done, so we now have uh, the entire structure drawn with the blood vessels. Now internally, the heart also shows presence of thread like structures which extend from the tip of the cusp of the valve to the ventricular walls. These are shown in the form of dotted lines. So we draw it on both the sides and they ha also have special muscles to which these are attached. Next we have to draw the vena cava that is on the lower side that is the inferior vena cava. So that can be drawn as shown here. So that now completes the structure of the heart. So as you can see this is a very simple representation of the human heart. Now we begin labeling it. Before we label, let us understand that our right side is labeled as the left side of the heart. So we begin with labeling the upper chambers. The upper chambers are thin walled. So here this is the left auricle and it has thin walls and it is a receiving chamber. The other side is the right auricle. So both the auricles which are the upper chambers are the receiving chambers of the heart. Next, we go to the lower chambers. So, labeling the lower chambers, on the left side, you have the left ventricle. The left ventricle has walls which are thicker than the right ventricle. The reason for this being that the left ventricle has to pump the blood to all parts of the body, hence require more force and pressure. So, here we label all the four chambers, the upper and the lower chambers. The ventricles are separated by a septum which is called as the interventricular septum. So this is the label for interventricular septum. Next we label the valves of the heart. Now between the auricle and ventricle are present the atrioventricular valves. So the atrioventricular or AV valve on the left side is called as the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve and it has two cusps. On the right side, the valve has three cusps and it is called as the tricuspid valve. These valves prevent the backflow of blood and ensure the unidirectional flow of blood. Now we label the other valves, those are present in the blood vessels that leave the heart. So on the left side we have the aortic semilunar valve which is in the aorta and on the right side we have the pulmonary semilunar valve. The pulmonary semilunar valve is present at the base from the ventricle to the blood vessel. Now these are semilunar valves which have three cusps and the cusps are in the shape of half moon shape. So this is called as the semilunar valves. Next we label the blood vessels. The one that receives blood from the lungs is called as a pulmonary vein. Now pulmonary veins are 
from the right and left side but here it is shown only as a single structure the vena cava is on the right side then the vessel that carries blood out of the heart from the left side is the aorta and the vessel that carries the blood from the right side is called as the pulmonary artery the vessel that is drawn on the lower side here that is the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body and brings it to the right auricle so the right side of the heart deals with deoxygenated blood and left deals with oxygenated blood the thread like structures that are present are the chordae tendinae these are attached to the valves and the wall of the heart which prevents the overturning of the valves during ventricular contraction these thread like structures are attached to special muscles that are present on the wall of the ventricle which is called as the papillary muscles so this completes with the labeling and functions of the parts of the heart